Hello, I am Dr. Bhagyalakshmi, Senior Homeopathic Consultant. I have been practicing from 22 years. My clinic name is Riba Homeopathy. I have clinics in CV Ramanagar, Indranagar, Bangalore. Hypothyroidism Hypothyroidism is also called underactive thyroid gland. What is hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism is a condition in which thyroid gland is not able to produce enough thyroid hormone. What is thyroid gland? Thyroid gland is situated in everybody in the front of the neck. That is hormonal gland. Hypothyroid is an autoimmune chronic disorder. Since the main purpose of thyroid hormone is to run the body's metabolism, it is understandable that people with this condition will have symptoms associated with a slow metabolism. Causes of hypothyroidism The most common cause of thyroid gland failure is called autoimmune thyroiditis, also called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, a form of thyroid inflammation caused by the patient's own immune system. The second major cause is the broad category of medical treatments we can say. The treatment of many thyroid conditions warrant surgical removal of a portion all of the thyroid gland. So there are several other rare causes of hypothyroidism. One of them being a completely normal thyroid gland that is not making enough hormone because of a problem in the pituitary gland. If the pituitary does not produce enough thyroid stimulating hormone, then the thyroid simply does not have the signal to make hormone. So it does not able to produce hormone. Symptoms of hypothyroidism, generally they will have fatigue, weakness, weight gain, increased difficulty in losing weight, dry hair and coarse hair and rough pale skin, hair loss, cold intolerance and constipation, obesity and irregular periods and breathlessness will be there. These are all the common symptoms of hypothyroidism. And due to hypothyroidism, some other problems like infertility will be there, PCOD will occur. If they are not taking proper treatment, these are all the complications I can say. Bone deformity, osteoporosis also will occur and metabolism will become very low. So indigestion problems will be there and constipation also will be there. Each individual patient may have any number of these symptoms and they will vary with the severity of the thyroid hormone deficiency and the length of the time. You may have one of these symptoms as your main complaint, while other will not have the problem at all and will be suffering from an entirely different symptoms. Most people will have combination of these symptoms. Occasionally some patients with hypothyroidism have no symptoms at all. They are just too subtle that they go to unnoticed. Rarely complications can result in severe life-threatening depression, heart failure or sometimes coma also will occur in severe cases of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism can often be diagnosed with a simple blood test. The thyroid hormone panel in some persons however it's not so simple but more detailed tests are needed. Normal thyroid stimulating hormone level is it should be within the 5.5. If it is high, then we call it as hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, we can say it is lifestyle disorder also because it mainly depends upon our lifestyle and in sometimes it comes due to hereditary also. If there is anybody in their family, then also it comes. So in lifestyle disorder means why we say Whenever there is a depression, generally thyroid problem will occur. So depression means stressful job related to any stress. Then also it comes. Hypothyroidism disorder is, we can say this is a lifestyle disorder. Because lifestyle disorder, why you have to say, if there is any stress, thyroid levels will increase or decrease. So whenever a TSH increases, that is called hypothyroidism. So we have to reduce stress levels. Now I will explain about diet and exercise. 
what you have to eat and what should not have you should not have main cabbage cauliflower and palak because they are high hydrogenic things so that's why you have to avoid in hypothyroidism cases what you have to have more you have to take more fruits and vegetables and exercise should be there every day you have to do minimum half an hour physical exercise should be there if there is any stress you have to reduce your stress levels let us see treatment in homeopathy for hypothyroidism there is very good remedies are there for hypothyroidism in homeopathy in homeopathy we give treatment on the basis of constitutional treatment constitutional treatment means we take total symptoms of the disease and physical generals and mental generals also we take according to total symptoms of person we give treatment so many good remedies are there in homeopathy like calcarea car sulfur calcarea iod calcarea etc 